Thank you for joining in to Easy Life Journey. My name is Tyler Cranston, and today we will be talking about how to become vegan. I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should become vegan or vegetarian and you don't wanna miss it, so stay tuned. The five reasons are for a healthier lifestyle, to look beautiful, and to live longer, that's one. The second one is to fight cancer, disease, and illness. Number three is an animal is an animal, whether it's a pet, a dog, or a cat. And number four is all animals are animals, and they have life just like us. And number five, what is your reason to become a vegetarian or a vegan, you know, for health, because of animal, because of spiritual reasons. So the first one is for a healthier lifestyle and to look more beautiful and, and to live longer. So a uh, pesco vegetarian, which is ones that eat fish or some seafood, mainly salmon, tuna, they have a lot of omega-3, which are really, really good for you. And I'm a vegetarian and sometimes I eat fish, but not all the time because I'm in Vietnam. So they don't really have salmon and if they do, they're quite expensive. But pesco vegetarians live 18% longer and vegans live 15% longer than non-vegans um, and vegetarians. It's been studied and proven and you can look online. Or you can read my article for a full in-depth. It's the UCLA has shown an amazing effect of eating seven portions of fruits and vegetables a day. So you want to eat three fruits and four to seven uh, servings of vegetables a day, which I always do. And those who do have a 42% chance less of getting a disease or, or an illness than people who don't. So this study was done over a 13 year period with 65,000 participants. That's a lot. In math, if you've learned, it only takes about, I believe, 50 to 100 participants to get an accurate number. So. Number two is help fight cancer, illness, and diseases. So research done by Otto Walkborg, a Nobel Prize winner, has shown that no cancer cells can live in an alkaline body, which means if you drink soda, you smoke cigarettes, you eat whatever you want, your body is very acidic, and you don't want that. So there are things you can do and eat, like you know, lemon helps eating a bunch of fruit and vegetables help drinking a bunch of water, you know, limit smoking, drinking, or eating junk food. You can do that, but in moderation, you know, one or two times a week is okay. Junk food, maybe once a week. But another thing is, when a human dies, we have five to 20 pounds of fecal matter in our colon, which contributes to over 170 diseases and illness. That's a lot. So most of that is stuck meat because meat is very hard to digest for humans so fruit and vegetables can be digested in a few hours while meat can take four to five hours to fully digest fruit and vegetables take 18 to 24 hours while meat uh, takes even longer three to four days raw meat will uh, digest faster than cooked meat so number three an animal is an animal, no matter how cute, fluffy, and cute they are, if they're your pets, you know. It doesn't matter, an animal is an animal. A pig, a fly, a dragon, a lion, a dog, they're all animals. That's what you have to understand, you know. I used to be exactly like you, you know. I would have pets, I would love dogs. Dogs are my favorite animals, and I like cats, and I would have them, but yet, I would be petting them, you know talking with them while I'm eating steak and seafood and chicken and um, I say to myself oh I love animals I love dogs but yet I'm eating another animal you know an animal is an animal and so that's what you have to uh, think in your mind so I don't want to be a hypocrite and I'm not telling you you are a hypocrite but what I'm saying is if you love animals and you want to treat them correctly, then treat all animals the same. Just like humans, we're all the same, but yet we are born unequal. So that gets me to number four. So number four is how you were brought up. You know, we were brought up thinking that dogs and cats and elephants, you know, giraffes are lovely and they're pets or, you know, they, they're animals that you shouldn't eat. We grew up eating 
chicken, steak, seafood in America and in Vietnam and Asia, you know, they eat dogs and rabbits and mouse and insects and that's normal to them. But to us, it's not because of how we were brought up. So how you were brought up, you know, has so much to do on how you are, not just as a vegan or a vegetarian, you know, in life in general, if you were brought up by rich parents, you're going to learn how to become rich, most likely. Same thing with vegans and vegetarians and non-vegans. My friend is Indian. He was brought up vegan and he's now in Vietnam and he eats meat because he wants to gain weight. So it's all how you were brought up, you know. So for 29, 30 years, he was brought up a vegan and, you know, that's what he ate. He never ate meat until now. So my last reason is what is your reason and purpose or why do you want to become vegetarian? If it, is it to lose weight, which is really good? Is it because you love animals? My reason is quite many. I love animals. I want to improve my meditation and you have to become vegetarian in order to meditate really well. And I also want to reach enlightenment, but that will take a while. So for me to become um, enlightened, you know, 10, 20 years down the road, I have to become a vegetarian because when you meditate, you have compassion for all things and you can't be a hypocrite and it helps you open your third eye and your spiritual side better if you are a vegetarian or a vegan. So that's my five points today for how you can become a vegetarian and I hope you really liked it. If you liked it, please hit the like button and do me a favor and subscribe. That will really help. I try to make new contents at least two or three times a week. Thank you very much and have a great day.